Hey Star Seeds, welcome back. So today we're gonna be making vegan waffles. Now, these waffles are very, very tasty. I've tried many vegan waffles in my lifetime and I haven't really been happy with them. They're kind of like, taste like plastic. A lot of the recipes are with white flour, but today I'm gonna to be giving you a recipe with brown rice flour and oat flour. So let's get to it. Starting off with our dry ingredients to a bowl, we're going to add in two cups of gluten-free oat flour if you're gluten-free. So that's gonna go in. By the way, the reason why I'm wearing my robe this morning is because last night Greg and I had a gig uh, playing jazz. For those of you who don't know, we are musicians as well. I'm a jazz singer and Greg plays the double bass. And we just had a really late night last night gigging at this bar and we got home late and I slept in. So now I just feel like doing this video with my cozy robe and I can't wait to eat these waffles and neither can Greg. He's behind the camera. <laughs> um, so to our two cups of gluten-free, if you wish, oat flour, we're gonna add in one cup of brown rice flour. So that's gonna go in. And then we're going to add in a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a pinch of sea salt. So what you're gonna do is just with your whisk, just combine all the ingredients together just for a few seconds. And okay, that looks pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is set this aside and we're going to mix our wet ingredients. Now you could do all of this in one bowl, but just to be on the safe side, you know, I'm making the video for you guys. I decided to do it in separate bowls just to make sure that everything mixes perfectly. So to our uh, fresh bowl, we're going to add in one medium-sized banana. Make sure that it's ripe, make sure that it's freckled, okay? Because then your pancakes will be even sweeter. So with a fork, we're just going to mash this up. So we're just going to mash this up with a fork. In all honesty, I usually use my knuckles to do this. I sort of punch it out. Of course, I make sure that my hands are clean. But it's just a really efficient way to mash bananas, I find. So once your banana is mashed and it looks like this, nice and creamy and dreamy, we're gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of coconut oil, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two cups of soy milk. I love using soy milk. I just do. It's, it's of course, organic soy milk, but soy milk just gives a really nice texture to the waffles. And okay, this is optional. You could add in at this point two tablespoons of coconut sugar or any sugar of your choice. You could totally leave this out and the, the waffles will taste really great. But um, you want sugar in your waffles? Yes. Greg sugar. wants sugar. It's coconut sugar. It's only two tablespoons. And if you think about, you know, that this probably makes about eight waffles, I think, but we'll see. Uh, it's not that much su sugar, so, but you can totally leave this step out. So now what we're gonna do is take our whisk and whisk it all together. We did, uh, Greg and I made an Instagram video. We did an Instagram live the last time we made this recipe. So for those of you who watched and commented and everything, it's so nice engaging with all of you. By the way, yeah, don't forget that uh, we, we are on Instagram if you guys want to follow us. Um, I'm always posting a recipe of the day. So now that we've finished whisking our wet ingredients, all we're going to do is take it and pour it into the dry. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now we are going to just mix all of this up until it becomes a delicious sludge of waffle batter. Now you can always get creative and add in spices in your waffle mix, like lots of cinnamon, cardamom, like anything that you want really. But I'm just gonna leave it plain because we are going to be adding some cacao nibs. Guys, cacao nibs are amazing for you. Um, they're packed with magnesium. So magnesium is so important for the body. 
and it's so amazing that chocolate has a lot of magnesium in it and the cacao nibs that we're going to be using the cacao nibs are a hundred percent chocolate there's no sugar in there it's just real chocolate okay so now that we've mixed it up with a wooden spoon i'm going to go ahead and whisk it a little bit with my whisk just to make sure just just to make sure that everything is beautifully combined so now what we're going to do oh yes look at that mm, looks delicious we are going to add in the cacao nibs so mm, so good just give that a little mix and these are ready to be put in the waffle maker by the way Greg got me a waffle maker for my birthday and it is the best present that I've ever gotten in my life. Yes, it's true. Before we make our waffles, we are going to make a beautiful tahini salted caramel sauce. Now you don't have to make this sauce. You can just stick with good old fashioned maple syrup or agave nectar if you wish. But I don't know. I feel like I wanna make this tahini caramel uh, sauce. So what we're going to do is to a bowl, we're gonna add in some tahini. I'm adding about a quarter of a cup of goodness. Oh yeah, are you getting this? So that's going in. And then I'm just gonna add in about, I would say a tablespoon of coconut oil. Make sure your coconut oil is melted. And then we're just gonna give this a nice mix to combine the two together. And now what we're going to do is add in some maple syrup. You can add in agave nectar as well. Any liquid sweetener of your choice. And I'd say we're gonna, well, it's up to you really how much you wanna add in. I'm just gonna add in two tablespoons and then have a taste and see if that's enough for me. So give that a mix. Mmm, look at that golden color. Now, if you see that your sauce is not saucy enough, like uh, loose enough, that means you need to add in a little bit more of the syrup give it an mm, give it another good mix oh yeah okay so i just added a little bit more maple syrup until i got this consistency which is sort of like a pourable consistency you don't want it to be thick you want to be able to drizzle it all over your pancakes or your waffles rather so now all that's left to do is add in some sea salt and this is going to really give it that salted caramel flavor Mm, delicious. And now give it another good mix and this is ready. So we're gonna set this aside. Okay, so by the way, I did add about a quarter of the whole jar of maple syrup into the tahini sauce. It just really needs that much sweetness to, to get that flavor that we want, that caramel flavor, okay? Just FYI. And then this is the final result of, of that beautiful topping. So now that our waffle maker has uh, been heating up, now it's time to add in the batter. Now, one thing I learned is that you should not overfill with batter because it will start pouring out from the sides of the waffle maker and it makes for a terrible cleanup. So do that, let's do the other one. And then just with a spoon sort of Distribute the batter to the corners. All right, and now we're gonna close it. And in my experience, this recipe needs five minutes, and then you're gonna flip it and cook it for another two minutes. So I'll see you guys in about seven minutes. Okay, so our waffles are ready. As you can see, they look to die for. And I love the texture of these because they're nice and thick on the inside and sort of there's body to these waffles. They're not just like limp plastic 
waffles. I have had many of those, believe me. So now what we're gonna do is stack them. All right. And we are going to add some sliced banana. Once again, make sure your bananas are ripe. Beautiful. And now we're gonna take our delicious caramel tahini sauce. This is just, ah, oh, look at it. Look, amazing consistency, and it tastes incredible. I can't wait for you guys to try this. We're just going to pour this on top. So we're just going to pour it, oh yes. What angle are you? Pouring it all over the waffles. Mmm. And then, after you've soaked your waffles in this deliciousness, well, I don't know about you, but I personally like to add some crushed pistachios. Sort of like a different kind of flavor of waffle. Oops, yeah. So now we're just going to sprinkle some, and this gives it a lot of flavor and texture and color as well. Okay guys, so I'm going in. I'm gonna try this for you. Sort of hard to do this. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yes, the way a waffle should be. Like I said, on the inside, it's sort of like a cakey, sort of batter, but on the outside it's nice and crispy, so you get the best of both worlds. And then the tahini sauce, if you like exotic flavors, do add the tahini salted caramel sauce. If you don't, just stick with your classic maple syrup. And also the pistachios add a lot of nutrition and flavor and color, and it's just delicious, and I hope you guys try this recipe. So I think this recipe makes about 10 waffles. I'm not exactly sure. But I will know for sure in a few minutes because me and Greg are gonna make the rest of the batter and actually sit down and devour all of them. Um, so if you guys like this video, I hope you hit that like button and also subscribe because you know that I'm here giving you amazing plant-based recipes every single Wednesdays and Sundays. So I will see you guys next time.